At this point in the project, you are probably ready to paint and you should have a plan in your sketchbook where your primary and secondary colors are going to be located on your final. Remember to check out the helpers around the room if you forget how to mix certain colors. And anything that is not a primary or secondary color will be an area that we paint a neon color. We have to at least use our primary and secondary colors one time. Remember to add paint using the tip of your brush and be very careful. Do your very best to stay inside of your lines. If you need to later, when your paint is dry, you'll be able to do some touch-ups with your paint marker lines. As always, when you need to switch colors, rinse very, very well, especially that blue. The blue is the one that's the most challenging to get off. And blot it really well as too to make sure that your brush and your metal part of your brush are clean so you're ready for the next color. Do remember that the sketchbook plan is just a plan, so if you make some small changes, that is completely okay. If you have areas that have more than one spot that are the same color, it is my highest recommendation that you stick with the same color until you are done. It'll save you from rinsing a ton, and also sometimes our water gets really, really mucky, which kind of creates difficulty when we're rinsing. You can always change it out, no big deal, but some things to just help your project get done quicker and more efficiently. After you have your primary colors on there at least one time, then you're ready for some secondary colors. And you have some options. You can either mix them inside of a little piece of egg carton, if that's easier for you to stay inside the lines, or you can mix directly on your paper. Entirely up to you. Just do your best to stay inside of your lines. When you do get ready to start mixing, and especially if you're using this cup right here, you're going to get little scoops of paint and you're going to kind of twist your brush off to get as much off of your brush as possible. And then instead of stirring around the entire surface of the cup, just do your stirring kind of on one side. And this keeps our paint from getting all spread out. You can always modify the color and change it in this cup or on your paper. It's just so, so important that we remember to rinse our brush every time we grab a little more of another primary color.